This is Lover of Ladies, and I am trying to find a package here. Seems like there's a couple of dead weights that I need to get rid of, though. Yep, that's right. Oh, another one. Decide to come over here with Felix and Ellie. I like to change up my companions every episode. That way... I'm not always with the same two. And obviously, I know there's some fan favorites. I'm trying to balance out everyone. So they have at least some sort of an appearance. What did I just ran into? So this is the package? To Captain B. Babbage and crew from a friend. Handle with care. Okay, so we found them. That's cool. We found the package. And that's the llama-shaped rock that the person from the last episode was talking about. Right. Okay, well, in that case, since we already have the package, I say we should head out. Hello, first mate Rockwell. I got something for you. Are you tracking down that llama? Technically, it's the package I'm after, but you get what I mean. I found this sitting by a llama-shaped rock. That's it! Oh, I can't wait to rub this in my dumb captain's face. This should be entertaining. See here now? What's all this talk about? We got the package. And guess what? It was where I said it would be. And this fossil? It's not a llama. Not a llama at all. I... I believe I owe you an apology, first mate. What? It's true. I wouldn't know an alpaca from a raptodon, and as a captain, that's a mark against my good name. Can you ever forgive me? Llama. I don't know what to say. I'll start. Thank you, stranger. Maybe you should listen to your crew from now on. I think you're right. What is a crew if not people who can remedy a captain's flaws now and then? Well, what's a family for if not pointing out your flaws? <laughs> yeah, that's why you keep me around, right? You need me smoothing out your rough edges. Felix, you're funny. Well, thanks, Captain. Let's say we head over to the Sprat Shack and I'll buy the first round just to show there's no hard feelings. Llama. Here's my cut. I'd say you've earned it. And here's a little something extra for your time. Wow. Well, you know what? It, the pleasure was mine, first mate. Be seeing you, and thanks again. Llama. Mm, llama? Okay. I am trying to retrieve the last two photographs, and since I already have the key, I'm just going to go right in and see... <sighs> It's, I mean, looking back at doing this whole Gorgon quest, I'm not going to lie. As soon as I'm done with this DLC, we basically have the last mission to save the Doctor. And that's it with the game. So, as much as I love playing, I know all good things must come to an end in one way or the other. But I'm still going to have fun with it nonetheless. So, let's just head in. And that music is not helping, so I know there's going to be some messed up shit in this place, so let's, let's get in. We are here. Finally. After how many attempts? And of course, there's a dead body. Huh. I want to check to see if there's anything I can take. Because, you know, I love taking shit. That's that's my thing. Alright, let's head up- let's head upstairs. I'll take that, I'll take that, thank you. Let me change up my weapon, too. This one. 
Whatever it is, we're up to our ankles in it. Uh, don't remind me. Don't remind me, please, Ellie. It's bad enough that we're here. I know. Holy cow. Okay. This place really went to shit. This is very eerie. Whatever your past, you know that as of today, each of you will be part of the summit wave. Hmm. Together we will be part of something new, all right. Wait to figure out who's talking. Captain. Yeah. Chem lab in one piece. I reckon yeah. we can handle this. Of course. See, I love my crewmates. I love how much faith they have in me. That's the type of support I crave, honestly. Comment below. Who do you think is this mysterious stranger? Clearly, someone who's annoying. Someone who doesn't know who I am and what I'm capable of. And I just love proving people wrong. It's kind of like a high for me. Damn. I'm so happy I'm not doing this alone. I'm actually kind of scared a little bit. Not Resident Evil scared. More like psychologically scared. I'll take that. I need as much ammo as I can okay. grab. Uh... All right. Now, I'm curious to see who is still here, because it's been how many years? And if... I don't know how anybody volunteers to live in a place like this. Yeah, I don't get it either. Close to the drugs. Wow, this is crazy. I don't know, man. I wouldn't want to volunteer here, honestly. I just feel like it's kind of like modern day slavery in a way. Yeah, I'm taking all this shit. Don't judge me. Ooh. No. Oh no, a test subject. Felix kicked the shit out of them so hard, my whole screen went black. And the fact that they're still here, like, dude, how? How is that possible? You gotta eat and shit sometime, you know? I love picking up these things. It definitely helps with hacking and pick locking and this and that, but. Okay. Oh, another one. Ellie. Else? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm being stinged. I'm being stinged. So y'all fight them, I'll lick pop I'll lick pick and take everything else. That's just me. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Huh. This is This is where all the main things happened. In terms of setting up this experiment. Hiding truths. So sad. 
So sad indeed. Come here. Who's coming? Oh, shit. I just love the way Felix just bodies the people. I tell him to body. Like, it's so cool. I've been doing a lot of leg presses, and hopefully one day I'm able to body someone just by doing that move. That's my goal. All right, so we got rid of a whole bunch of people here. We should be getting close to the photograph that the journalist left over. Right? I hope so. What the hell is this? Test chamber three. <gasps> We're in a test chamber. How awkward. Oh! Oh! Felix, be careful. Yeah, I know. Look at all this. Wow, look at all of this. This is nice. I I, I feel like a kid in a candy store picking up all of these uh, ammo and stuff. The fact that they have a test chamber too is insane. Look at this. This is insane. Seriously, this right here is totally insane. Okay, we should be close. I see something over there. Take your best shot, Now that was fun. I know, right? I just love my weapons. Can I open? Oh, it's right here. Discussed side effects, Dr. Ambrose. The drug's not ready for release yet. The side effects are immaterial. So it's dangerous. Perhaps it results in some thrilling mutations. Forearms, maybe? Or a second head? Try delusion, paranoia, gastric bleeds, violence, and fatal insomnia. What the hell? Uh... Shall I enumerate every way our volunteers have died? Suicide by automech, suicide by hanging, starvation. Cut the recording, Georgie. You sure, boss? I just put on a new cylinder. Stroke, spontaneous combustion, internal exsanguination. Just turn it off. The amount of side effects this drug has on people. <laughs> Get him strapped down! Dr. Blakesley. Subject demonstrates <laughs> catastrophic personality collapse. Mm. Fucker bit me. Marion. <sighs> Interesting. I think I'm going into shock. And she was attacked too by multiple subjects. This is insane. I don't know. This uh, this drug here. Obviously, at this point, based off of the recordings, based off of what I've seen, all this was totally not worth it in fact it made everything 10 times worse especially since now we realize the true nature of how the marauders became the marauders space of choice are you okay what happened spacer's choice is responsible for countless of deaths countless of people going insane no wonder they wanted to bury Gorgon so bad. Because once the public realizes the true monstrosity, the, the true disturbing nature of what really went on behind closed doors, 
it'll be the end of Space Destroys. But for now, I just gotta access this terminal right here. Is there any way? Let me see. Got that. I have to go. Let me see. This must be where they did their experiments. Watch their prisoners claw their eyes out and go screaming mad. Yeah, basically. Notes. Lots and lots of notes. I know, right? Just to cover their tracks, possibly. Where am I supposed to... Why do I get the feeling we haven't seen the worst of this place? This is... Oh! Lots of dead bodies here. A whole bunch of dead bodies. Are we supposed to go down there? Okay. I guess we're going down there. You know what? Let me just use... I'm gonna keep on... Whoa. This one's missing a leg. Let's get out of here, boss. We've seen enough. I'm oh my... Memory out with a bottle of Spectrum Red once we're back on the ship. Oh my god! So they discard the bodies? Turn them to meat packages and shit? This is horrible. All the test subjects that die, they just condense them into these meat boxes. Oh my god, this is horrible. Shut the fuck up. Good luck. It's a good thing then that I finally figured out what you're after. I'll see you soon, little weasel. Well, I'm glad. I've been looking forward to punching the spread. Me too. Me too. I'll do that. Beautiful. Uh huh. And I always knew this colony was twisted. Heard my share of stories in the Groundbreaker. Seen my share of gruesome, too. But nothing prepared me for this. What they did here was inexcusable. And pointless. Exactly. What I'm stuck on is this. Spacer's Choice knew what Adrena Time would do, and they released it anyway. I know, I can't believe they did this. I didn't think Spacer's Choice was capable of causing this much harm. Confidently, I mean. I just wonder if that heiress isn't going to collapse on her fainting couch when she gets that journal, whatever it holds. You know what? Th there's only one way to find out where this leads. Come on. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> I'm taking everything for emotional compensation at this point. And I can't wait to meet the mysterious figure, too. Pisses me off. Some nerve, you know? The... let me see... the... oh, Olivia's journal is right up there, so... Yep, we should be close. I assume this should lead us to the journal. Yep. We getting out of here? Good. Even my teammates are freaked out. I came here to find the last, the last phonograph for the journalist, and then after that I'm going to go find the terminal here. Wow. So much stuff for me to pick. I am loving this. And where, wait, hold on. Is there a, okay, so we're going this way. 
This is so crazy. Seriously, it's just so... So insensitive, this company, to just take advantage of so much people for the sake of their own science, when in all reality, it was just pure shit, if you ask me. Okay, so it's right in here. Let me open up this door. Ooh. Roscoe, it's Georgie. If you're hearing this, you must still be holed up at the Sprat Shack. And you're not gonna like this one bit. I was trying to steal our recordings when things went crazy. I know, I know. Like I said, sorry. And I'm gonna be in a heap of trouble if I don't get them, so if you wanna save my bacon, you need to do it for me. I need the three interviews we did with Ambrose, this one here, plus another recording of my own. I left that last one with a guy who owed me a favor at the garbage processing office in the chemical waste ravine. I'll leave an automech near Stellar Freighting. It'll want all five recordings, plus a passphrase. Glacial Age. Oh, and don't listen to my log, all right? Just, just stay safe and keep your head down. Wow, that's crazy. That is insane. So there's actually more recordings to this. You know, as soon as I give all the recordings to the journalists, I'm just going to tell them to just scram and leave at this point. And once he realizes what's really going on, he's going to be horrified. He is totally going to be hor horrified by all of this. So we found the trash place where Georgia f hid the last recording. I'm actually pretty worried on what I'm about to hear. Tell me about the production of Adrena Time, Dr. Ambrose. I hear Compound X is a unique challenge to work with. It's temperamental. It must be refined under tightly controlled circumstances at tremendously low temperatures. Do you compound it with anything else? Tell me more about your refining process. Our audience is conversant in the sciences, very detail-oriented, so don't be afraid to get technical. Last time I met you, you spoke like a groundbreaker builder sprat. Why the sudden airs? And such specific questions? Does your minder know what you're up to? Does he suspect you're a spy? I... Pardon me. Huh. That's pretty... Interesting. And let me take a look at this one right here. So, day one. First day on the new job, I can't believe this. What a joy to be here. What a sudden and complete surprise to be promoted to head garbage processing officer. It would be nice if there were another officer here to teach me the job, but I guess he fell into the feed chute last week. I have made a note not to do this. Wow, that's crazy. And they didn't even bother to have him trained either. Day two. I'm starting by reading all available notation regarding the trash compactor. If Spacer's Choice believes that I, a humble chemist, am suited to such lofty work, then I would do my best to succeed at it. Unfortunately, the operating manual for the compactor is covered in bloodstains, which does make it difficult to understand. That's disturbing and disgusting. Day 3. Compactor was making weird noises today. I thought it was a problem with the compression chamber, so I spent most of the afternoon troubleshooting with the manual. Turns out a sprat had gotten into the hopper. Day 5. The emergency stop does not work. Day 8. My arms are killing me, and my back, and let's see, yep, my shoulders. Most of me aches. I thought this was supposed to get easier. Guess I'm not used to physical labor yet. I'm seriously considering microdosing with Aldrina time. Maybe once they've gotten a few more of the kinks to it out. 
assuming the idiots over at the chem lab have stopped bickering long enough to do their jobs. Day 19. What am I even doing here? I'm a chemist, for law's sake. I don't know how any of this works. I'm surprised I have both arms left. Not that anyone else ever comes by the shack to notice. Day 33. I don't know why I'm bothering with the log. No one's going to read it. No one has any intention of reading it. It's pen and paper. They could at least pretend to give a flying fish sticks and give me a data log. This is sprat shit. Day 52. Today I compacted a marauder corpse into a tiny cube of meat just to see what it would look like. I should have felt disgusted, but when I looked at the end result, I didn't feel a thing. Oh my god, he's slowly turning into a sociopath. Day 76. Is there something I'm meant to do to maintain the machine? Maybe oil it or something? Day 100. What a milestone. Day 101. Made a game out of lobbering sprats into the compressor's hopper. Gave myself extra points for the live ones. What have I become? Day 140. I wonder what it would look like to run a mattice worm through the feed chute. What would it look like all crushed down into a tiny cube? Day 183. Got a message from the mine to come out and clean up some kind of cargo rail accident. Had to trek all the way out there just to tell them I don't deal with fluids. Morons. Day 211. Here's me at my lowest. I've been picking out the most hazardous trash I can find and I'm saving it up to do something nasty to Clarence's place. Need to figure out which room is his. Day 231. What if I just dove in there? Wow, that would hurt. Imagine how slowly and painfully it would crush my body down into juice and meat and shards of bone. Wow, he's suicidal now. Day 269. The mine crew is still after me to clean up the little accident, like I'm not up to my ears in garbage out there. Bodily fluids are outside my wheelhouse. Any bodily fluids from compressing organic material are just accidental. Sorry, incidental. Day 275. I'm done with this log. I'm done with everything. Maybe I'll let the garbage pile up forever. Maybe it'll pile up so high it'll spill out across the canyon and drown everything and everyone. I can only hope. Oh man, this is sad. And it makes sense as to why this place looks like this now. Alright. Let's head on out. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.